belongs to one of the most iconic movie monsters of all time, Godzilla. Since his debut in 1954, the King of Monsters has rampaged across Tokyo, New York City, and Osaka, to name a few. And over the years, he's gotten bigger, and bigger, and bigger. The latest Godzilla is a record 119 meters tall, about six times taller than the tallest animal in history. And to be fair, it's a fantasy film, not a nature documentary. But just how fantastical is a 36-story tall lizard dinosaur creature who breathes beams of atomic energy? Well, energy beams aside, Godzilla is actually even more unrealistic than you might think. Now, Earth is no stranger to enormous animals. Just look at the largest dinosaur, the Titanosaurs, or today's blue whales, which reach up to 30 meters long and can weigh 200 tons. Compared to them, Godzilla doesn't seem that impossible, right? These critters are massive on a scale that's just totally impossible. I mean, it goes, it goes, I mean, assuming at least they're made of anything even remotely like what we're made out of uh, and follow any of the rules of biology, they are, they're completely impossible. That's paleontologist Mike Habib. He's an expert in giant reptiles and also helps design fantastical creatures for TV and film. And according to him, a creature like Godzilla could never exist in real life for multiple reasons. First, he would be brain dead long before he ever reached a city because his heart simply isn't large and powerful enough to pump blood to his head. His heart would have to be you know, thousands of tons that fill most of his chest. You'd have to have vessels that you could drive a car through, and and he, you know, he would need, you know, he'd need the, the energy consumption of a small power plant probably every minute in order to run it. Of course, he's nuclear powered, so maybe he has the energy to spare. In reality, large animals like titanosaurs got around this by walking on all fours with their heads held out in front of them, not held up high. That way, they don't have to pump blood against gravity as far. But even if Godzilla did crawl across cities on all fours, he'd have another problem. Movement. See, whenever you lift your leg or arm, it's because your brain fires signals to the nerves in your leg and arm muscles. The fastest of these signals travel around 100 meters per second, so the message from brain to leg is virtually instantaneous. Not for Godzilla, though. It would take more than a full second for nerve signals to travel the length of his body. Now, a second still sounds pretty quick, but in reality... His nerve conduction speed becomes so slow that he can't move. It takes forever to, to do anything. Now, Godzilla does look pretty sluggish in the films, but it turns out, in reality, it would look more like this. But even if Godzilla could move super fast, he wouldn't have time to fight enemies or demolish buildings because he'd be too busy sunbathing. All animals need a way to regulate body temperature. Reptiles and other cold-blooded animals stay warm by basking in the sun. But in Godzilla's case, heat from the sun would have to travel through meters upon meters of tissue to penetrate his hide and reach his internal organs. So to stay warm, he'd have to spend hundreds of hours straight sunbathing. But what if Godzilla were more like a mammal? Like us? He wouldn't need to rely on the sun, since we warm-blooded creatures produce our own body heat. But unfortunately, that would cause yet another problem. But then he's so big, he probably, he probably cooks himself. You know, his, his core temperature hits 300 degrees. Yikes. And even if he somehow got around all these problems, his skeleton would still collapse under its own weight. Now, Mike says he's a whopping 90,000 metric tons. And that skeleton's just not strong enough to support 90,000 metric tons of, well, anything. Yeah, he would just crumple. He'd just collapse. He'd be, be a very large pile of meat. Not a very intimidating picture. In the end, Mike says Godzilla could only be about half as tall as he was in the original film before his poor heart would give out. 
But just because Godzilla's body is unrealistic doesn't mean it's bad. In fact, he's perfect for the role. He's tall enough to stalk past city skyscrapers, which give us iconic scenes like this. Just straight up um, magic in the modern world setting and just go and enjoy it as such.